Tonight, Yevgeny Prigozhin, again facing a perilous future. The mercenary who led a mutiny in Russia, so angering President Putin, was thought to be in exile in Belarus. But when NBC News was invited today to the presidential palace in the capital, Minsk, its autocratic leader distanced himself, his deal to bring Prigozhin to Belarus undone for now. And he may never come, President Lukashenko says. He is located in St. Petersburg. Where is he this morning? He could have gone to Moscow or maybe somewhere else. People will be surprised and mystified that a man who you say could have caused a civil war in Russia is still in Russia. I've said everything that I'm allowed to say. On the streets of Minsk, some telling us they never wanted Prigozhin or his soldiers here. They are very bad. Prigozhin himself, heard but not seen, promising in a recent audio message new victories on the front line. President Putin has been busy trying to reassert his power and man of the people image. His view of Prigozhin, unclear tonight. But Russian state TV, which once lauded Prigozhin and his Wagner fighters as heroes, now calling him a traitor and a criminal. He had a charmed life, this Russian report says, showing images unverified by NBC News of a police raid on his St. Petersburg home with millions of dollars in bills, fake passports and even wigs. Prigozhin discredited, but not in danger, Lukashenko insisted today. If you think that Putin is so evil and vengeful that he'll whack him tomorrow somewhere, as we say in Russian, then no, this won't happen. This will not happen. But President Putin has not been prepared to even say Prigozhin's name. Now they are back in the same country. Long term, that seems an uncomfortable compromise. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.